Well, blessed day. Uh, we have arrived at a new year. This is uh, January the 2nd in the year 2024. Uh, I hope each of you had a great New Year's day. Uh, relaxed for us. It was uh, eight hours in the car driving home. But uh, we finished up a book we'd been listening. Well, we start finished up a book and we started a book. Uh, so I guess we'll have to ride around a little bit to finish this other book that we're on. But uh, it was a great drive yesterday. No problems. Got home. Everything's good. Uh, and uh, we're back to the routine for just a few days as the end of the week we'll be heading out on a cruise. So uh, we'll get some devotions in this week and uh, share uh, prayer and uh, move on from there. I hope this is going to be a blessed year, uh, one filled with uh, hope, one filled with the possibilities of, of better things that can be for our earth, the place we call home, uh, and uh, that there might be at least uh, some semblance of, of peace in the midst of those places that are in great turmoil especially in the lives of people that uh, we love. Uh, we begin with a reading, just a verse from Matthew in the second chapter. We're approaching the season of Epiphany. On the sixth is uh, the day of Epiphany. It's the time where traditionally we observe the uh, appearance of the wise men. So a couple of the readings here uh, will jump the gun on that and uh, share from Matthew in the second chapter. Having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, the, they, or the wise men, returned to their countries by another route. The Gospel of our Lord. Why does God warn the wise men not to return to Herod? Even if Herod had found out, God easily could have protected Jesus from him and the entire world. The reason God did it this way is so we would learn not to test God. We should never look down on what we can conveniently accomplish with the help of what God has created. Certainly, you should believe in God and say, I will trust God. Everything will turn out all right. You should trust him as much as if you didn't want to work and were saying, I will trust God. What is supposed to grow will grow anyway. But if this is all you do, what's the use of all that God has created? According to Genesis 1, God created everything in the world and established how human beings should use and work with all of it. He's not going to revoke that created order or make a special one just for you. So in the areas where God's word gives you no command, you should continue to make use of your strength, your possessions, your friends, and everything else that God has given you. You should remain in the created order God established in Genesis 1, for he didn't give it to you for nothing. He will not make wine into water or turn stones into bread just for you. Rather, you should accept everything God has provided and use it just as he created it to be used, unless God's word tells you to do so otherwise. And join me in prayer. Holy God, you have given us the goodness of life and all that is needed to sustain that life. You have given us time, the turning of the hours and the days and the years. And so as we are on the horizon of this new year and we know not what shall come to us, give to us that measure of trust to follow in your will and your way for us, to make the best use of the things that you have provided for us in this beautiful, vast creation, the talents, the friends, the companionship, the resources, all that is needful for sustaining life and having it to be prosperous 
We know, O oh Lord, that we can sometimes subtrovert your will for us, which is always good, by seeking to do and following only our way and our will. Let us find that pathway through life this day and each new day to follow you more nearly and dearly. Grace us, O oh Lord, with all we need. Bless those who have needs that come into this new year still struggling with health issues, with sustenance to keep them going, with the things that are needful for life. Let them not be discouraged, but let us and others be of help and hope of guidance. Bless those who are in the midst of struggles in lands where there is continual war and hatred and misunderstanding in the land of the Ukrainians and the surrounding region of Gaza and Israel, the, pro the areas of Palestine in Israel that are in conflict. Bring peace to these regions and these areas, O Lord. Give us a clear vision as you did to wise men who sought you and sought your way and found you in their time of need. Grace those who continue to struggle with health and recovery. We pray your hand of healing for, for Nancy and for Judy, for Donna, for Gail and Jenny and Linda, for Nikki and Tom, for Elaine, for Miriam, for Evelyn Ragg and Evelyn Tompkins, for Magnolia and for Julia and Katie, for Mark and Katie, for each that we commend to your loving care in these moments of silence. Into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus, Jesus who taught us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you, to be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor, giving you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A blessed new year to each one of you, and enjoy this beautiful day, a day of blue skies, no clouds, a little chilly yet, still in the high 30s, but... Uh, Good prospects for warming up a bit here in the Grand Strand, and I hope so wherever you are. Be safe. Take care. God bless.